What's going on guys? Welcome to my Ranked Smite Duels daily uploads. So, I finally got situated, I moved back home. Um, so now I'll start bringing you guys daily content. Um, unfortunately, uh, during the recording process, my audio did not record properly. So I'm going to be doing a voiceover for this um, episode in the next couple episodes. And then hopefully by the next time I start recording again for you guys, I'll have it all sorted out. Um, but I will start doing daily uploads. I will start streaming daily also. Uh, the daily uploads will mostly be in the um, in uh, duels or you know small short things that I can do real quick. Uh, I will also still be uploading regular content of other stuff also. Um, but I will be doing smite rank duels daily and I will stream daily also. So I'm not going to claim to be really good at smite duels. Um, I'm gonna say that I'm the best one out of my friends which is not saying much either but um, I watch a lot of smite duels on YouTube mostly Sam the dude I will credit him uh, I watch a, I watch his videos all the time so most of the stuff that I do is kind of based around somewhat of his play style somewhat of my play style um, so right now we're just going through the pick band phase um, Usually, you want to ban like the OP gods. Don't necessarily just ban gods that you just aren't good against. Ban the gods that are just so ridiculously overpowered that you could be crap and still win. There, There's a lot of them. Um, and you'll kind of see who I pick and ban. And you also want to pick and ban the OP gods based around who you're good with. Or and who you plan on playing in the match. So, keep those kind of things in mind. Um, when you're doing your pick bands. So he's bond, he's banned uh, Changa and Apollo. Kernan knows all the new gods are always uh, banned right out the gate. Um, but I banned Uller, Freya, and Hebo. Um, just because those gods are like really OP. I could have banned someone other than Uller. Um, considering that, I don't know, I, I think Uller, the Uller ban was a smart choice and the Freya ban was definitely a smart choice, uh, considering that I, I wanted to play Anubis, so, Anubis. you know, Anubis is really strong in duels right now, Anubis. he's, he's one of those gods that people don't necessarily ban, but you hope you don't play him, cause if an Anubis lands his raps, man, that's game, like, if the guy's on point with his raps, you're not gonna have a good time at all. So that's half, that's half the skill of playing in Anubis in ranked duels is are you landing your wraps? Good job, you're probably going to win the fight. He also banned AMC, uh, which is great. I did not want to fight an AMC, not as Anubis. Waiting for him to pick his god here, he takes a sweet time. He ends up picking uh, Yanus, which is an interesting pick. You normally don't see uh, Yanus's in duel, but you know. We'll see how the fight goes. And you know, let me know guys if you prefer um, voiceover or live commentary. I really prefer to do live commentary. I feel like you capture more organically of how I'm talking about stuff. And you can see the items that I bought here um, I bought soul stone starting item and you get tier I bought uh, tier 1 boots and then I bought pots and because I was playing a Yanus um, I, I didn't really know which relic to get so I kind of just defaulted to uh, to the oh man I'm drawing a blank on the name of it right now but the healing one um, and I put two points in my three and one on my one, um, just so I, I could clear wave. I probably should have grabbed a point in my two, but, you know, choose how you, you know, it's your personal preference, usually how you kind of want to start. I didn't see him in lane. Um, you, you generally, if you can, you want to grab minis. Always grab the minis from red buffs, so that way you've got the XP lead early on. Um, it helps out a lot. Any, any XP lead that you can get is great. Now the problem being is that I use my abilities on 
the mini, so they were on cooldown for the wave, so he pushed me back a little bit, and I got some damage. He did some damage to me from, uh, you know, archers and, you know, his basics. So that wasn't really a good trade situation there for me. Um, I kind of have to chug my pots here because I'm, I'm really chunked down. I try to land a wrap and I whiff it, but I still get some good poke on him because he's kind of trapped in between creeps and, uh, and my hands. So ends up being a decent little trade, and I heal heal most of the damage that he did to me back because um, basic life steal on Anubis. Is pretty good. I mean, he hit me pretty good there, but I life stealed some of it back and did some good poke on him too. Chugged some pots. You also really want to be careful on how you position yourself when you're doing duels. So always make sure that you're, you know, off to the side. You don't, you don't necessarily want to be like in in line with the creeps. taking some huge damage here I have to chug my pots I'm already out um, but he went to go do his blue so he gave up red for whatever reason um, so I popped my ult actually I think he backed there so I chose he gave up red so I went and took it and you know popped all my stuff to make sure no he didn't back he actually went and get did his blue so this was actually an okay thing for me but I fucked up and he I got stuck in the waves and then he dropped me and he just Two comboed me. There's nothing I could do. It was a bad situation. I, I shouldn't have stopped to do my one on the waves after he cleared the wave. I should have just ran. But hey, we learn, we learn, we learn as we play. Your middle tower is under See, I picked up boots and I start my next item here. You also want to be smart about when and where you act. You know, obviously. Try to make up for the XP loss. It's a good thing that he let me have my blue. I wasn't really sure where he was at. I almost thought he was going to try to steal it, but at the last second there, you saw him pop up on the menu. And, uh, it wasn't going to be an issue. He was too far to do anything about it. Unless, you know, popped ult. But you don't want to waste ult to uh, just to take a buff. It's a waste. And you see here, I'm kind of not sure where he's at. I'm kind of looking around. Kind of stay aware. Make sure he's surprised. And he shows up. Clear wave. Drops me. He does some damage. And I'm kind of trying to position myself. Here's the wrap, and then I get slowed, and I pretty much die. You have yeah, he ults me through the thing. I wasn't expecting it. He caught me completely off guard there. Weapons charged. Your middle tower is under attack. So you can see I'm got tier two Bancrofts. forget the build that I was going for right out the gate here. Um, I'm sure it'll become more apparent later on. But it's already not looking good. He's got a two kill lead on me. And I'm sure he's got a pretty solid gold lead going too. So it's probably not it's not it's not going well. Right here is where you gotta play really smart because if you keep dying and getting, ending up in really bad situations and obviously not landing my wraps. Like I said earlier, are you landing your wraps? Then you're good to go. But if you're not landing your wraps, man, you're going to have a really tough time playing Anubis. Um, but, like, when they're two kills up, you got to play smart. If you if you play dumb, 
uh, they're gonna get even further ahead and there's nothing you could do. You, you can only play as passive as you possibly can and hope for the best. And if you haven't noticed the pattern already, the, the problem I'm doing right now in this matchup is that I'm, I'm stopping to do my one at really bad times. And he throws portal in front of me, really predictable run path, and he gets another kill. At this point, it's it's pretty pretty far downhill for me here at this point. There's not a whole lot I can do to salvage the situation. Your middle tower is under attack. The king is Clear wave and I headed over to Red Buff. See if he did it, which he did. I kind of figured he would, and he got some really good poke on me in there. Not a lot I can do about it. I managed to backstep his portal just barely, and he still hit me with his two though. He tries to ult me, whiffs it. Trying to clear way before he shows back up. Get a free, uh, get my blue buff while I can, get the XP, and then pick up the buff, obviously. Because red's not up, it's not coming up soon. Shows up here, gets some good poke on me. I, I'm really bad at dodging that, that two of his. And then you hit me with that through the wall also. Almost killed me. I have to back here as safely as I can, as quick as I can, before you can get me. Um, doing that, though, unfortunately, like right after I'm pretty sure he just cleared the wave, he gets a lot of tower damage here. Which tower damage is really important. You don't want to just let the, the enemy just get all the tower damage in the game. You don't want to do that. You want to back strategically. In that case, I had to back. I was at 16 health. There's nothing else to be able to do there. Nothing but, you know, feed him more and just make the situation a whole lot worse. Got me again. Not a lot I can say. I'm really bad at this game. This matchup's not going very well. Um, like I said, it spiraled out of control. I started. It, it started off with really bad plays, and it just kept going down and down, and down, and down from there. So, not a whole lot I can do to salvage the situation at this point now. At this point, I'm kind of just looking to probably make it as cancerous as possible for him. Um, and maybe hope that he messes up and I can get something out of it, but just short of that happening, of him fucking up a couple of times, there's not a lot that I can hope for there. Finally landed a wrap, get my ult. As you see, he gets away. Portals through the wall, and then pretty sure he portals back through the wall, or he ran around, I forget what happens here. He hits me with that through the wall. I think he's backing on the other side, so I come back over here. I try to just throw the hands down, see if I can catch him. I wrapped him again, except all my abilities are on cooldown. Uh, he hits me, almost kills me. I have to pop my uh, my med. He's you are the result. He whiffs the ult. Got him back into the wave, except now I see where he's going. Still bad situation for me, and. He kills me here. Bad plays. I killed him. We traded, but in that situation, I definitely shouldn't have been able to kill him and not nearly mess that up as much as I had. But, say lovey, not a lot you can do about it. The only good thing was is that he was dead a little bit longer than me. Didn't do me too much of a favor. Just like a little bit further than me. Not a lot you can hope for, but 
blue buff showed up, so I take it because I can. I gotta take the opportunity and do it while I can. I need I need all the XP that I can. I need to try to catch up and do something with this this comeback kill. Missed the rap, but teleports through. Got his passive up. Hits me with the two. Let's see where he's going. I ult him. He just goes to the edge of it. Portals. I wrap him. I hit my one. His two misses, and I get him. So now he's now he, he played. He messed up. Now I'm starting to make a comeback here. This is where my chance is happening. I let the wave push through so that he misses out on the golden XP. He not like he was going to anyways. Um, and then I grab red buff because I need the XP, and I'm not going to be able to pick it up because I've got blue buff still. But point is, I didn't let him get it. Came through the portal with his ult. I wrapped him. Hit him with my three. As he's running, he took too much damage. I don't know what he was doing there or what he thought was going to happen. But it didn't happen how he thought it was going to happen. And it cost him his tower, I'm pretty sure. I get his tower here. Um, if not, I get a significant amount of damage on it. And now that lead that he had is slowly starting to slip away because now it's only a 3-5 kill difference. Um, and I'm coming back slowly. I still got a couple seconds here to get to the tower and the tower. I'm pretty sure I take the tower here just as he's about to show up. Yep, take the tower. He hits me with his two. I three the wave, clear it, back off. I healed for most of the damage he did. He's fighting the minions. He's chasing me down. He's playing overly aggressive right now. Misses his portal. I'm sorry for the lag right there, guys. Not a lot I can do about it. He scares the shit out of me coming around the corner. I missed my three. I obviously missed the one. He portals through. I land my two and I ult him. He misses two, uh, his two again. He ults. He uses it to get away. Chase. Um, old still on cooldown, but I just put my three down. A lot of my abilities are on cooldown. He lands that ice Aegis, his two, so that way it doesn't hit. Um, my rap doesn't just doesn't quite reach him, um, but I know where he's going. But unfortunately, he knows where I am because his creeps are hitting me the whole time, and it looks like it's going to be a repeat of that last what happened last time when I had him off guard in this side of the map. Teleports back through, he's trying to run, misses the two. Still chasing him down. And I'm pretty sure this is where I just give up the chase and just decide on clearing the wave, except that I find him. And he portals back through again. And I'm pretty determined on killing him here. So I clear the wave so that he doesn't he isn't able to see me. He twos me through the wall. He killed the minis from the blue buff. I kind of hide here as he's fighting my wave to see if I can confuse him on where I'm at. To see if he thinks that maybe he backed or something. And then I show up, come over here, throw the three down. I'm trying to get it ahead of him so I can push him into the direction that I want. I try to lead him with the two with the wrap. I miss it. He ages this. He gets away. Um, and I'm almost dead. There's not much else I can do here. So I have to pull back. Uh, even though... He ends up diving tower, or he hits creeps, or something. I'm not entirely sure what happens, but some way, somehow, I kill him there. Something happened. Point is, he died. He's dead for a while. Unfortunately, I don't have the mana or the ability to do much, so I just back uh, and keep building my build. finish taking off blue buff so that way it's just not there um, I grab it because I don't feel like risking it for red he shows up a fire giant I find him here I don't know what he thought was gonna happen but I land the rap he's taking damage from both me and the fire giant and I kill him and then he surrenders and that's the game guys so 
again let me know if you guys like the uh, content like this and I'll see you next time